Alrighty. We are here on the PlayStation 4. Hey, King Cat. Just in time. So, this may very well be the last session of this guy in one complete. We shall see. Do need to check something real quick here. Okay, we're still good. We're still good. Okay. Apologies for being a uh, little, a little late. I was um, doing uh, doing the dinner thing, the dinner thing, the breakfast thing. Uh, however you want to look at it. Nothing too major has happened. I've been um getting some um plugins for um Fruity Loops. That's been a fun time experiment with all that. I been getting all the free ones with the exception of one. I only paid for one because it was something I was really, really wanting to try out and um, use a lot. I I'm pretty... And I've been watching a lot of videos on uh, free loops and whatnot. I'm very excited to finally sit down and actually try to start, you know, get in there and actually um, outside of uh, messing with the uh, plugins themselves actually start to try and make some music with it. I'm pr pretty excited about that. I'm kind of saving it till it's on my off days. Just so I don't really have to do much. But I'm actually probably going to play around a little bit with it today. Um, after As soon as I'm done streaming. And I've been watching a bunch of videos too, just some tips and tricks here and there. And it's uh, it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty excited, pretty excited. And I always wanted to get free loose for a while now, um, because uh, I've I've been wanting to um, whenever I actually get to doing my RPG Maker game, um, I've been wanting to do my own soundtrack for that, and eventually I was wanting to do free loose. Or get for you for that specifically. And there may be some mod plants in the future for something. I'll just uh, say that for right now. It's nothing 100% definitive just yet, though. It's just something I'm playing around in my head. So we already got a little bit of a story done uh, the other day, so it shouldn't be a whole hour to get through to the good ending. I don't think, anyway. Well, there goes Madeira's.
It's kind of weird, this capture device. Sometimes the volume will be lower, or sometimes the volume will be just completely fine. It's a little weird like that. And I don't even touch any of the settings. Like, I don't even think... I mean, I increased that to two, but I don't think that has anything to do with it. Make sure not to kill any allies, or else I'm out of the good ending. Another thing I gotta go forget, uh, remember to do is I got a Jeffbox video that I uh, need to edit. So that'll be going up on YouTube. Possibly today, possibly tomorrow. I'll just have to see. So, uh, that'll be pretty fun. Got a, got a pretty good, uh, good set of games out of it this time. Pretty silly, but pretty good. And then I gotta make sure the, uh, video from yesterday's stream goes up alright. I gotta edit a thumbnail for that. Well, why? I've been, uh, been a little distracted with other stuff. I need to stop, uh, I'll stop being distracted. Uh, going pretty well. How about, uh, hope, uh, things are doing well on your end. Now just chilling out, playing the uh, the good old Disgaea. Just grinding on my end. Ah, understandable. <laughs> that is the that is the name of the game. Luckily. For me, if everything goes right, this should be the last session of the Sky One complete, but it's not a hundred percent certainty. Cause I'm not too sure if I'm quite ready for printing ball yet or not. It's just it's, I've gotta be blamed by his rules, basically. But first, we gotta get that good ending. Yeah, this is story mode. Uh, Laharl story mode. I'm just skipping all the cutscenes because I've already seen everything at this point. Literally, the only thing I'm missing is just the, uh, the good ending. And then I'm gonna start the final cycle, and I'll just, um... So that way I don't have to start another cycle again. Well, this is the, um, the remaster. Uh, this was released on PC, Switch, uh, PS4. I'm playing the PS4 version. It's got some hiccups here and there, but it's not, it's not a bad way of playing this guy one. And they actually made it a little bit quicker with, uh, leveling up in this game as well, which is pretty nice. Oh. 
mal gucken. <laughs> now it is the zombies we gotta handle. This is a good song. I like the song. I think I said that last time too. Uh, funny enough, it does not. NIS, uh, I guess because the original didn't have DLC, they didn't include DLC for this game. They did include a few more characters that's exclusive to this version, but they're really not all that good. They were, like, last-minute kind of entries because they included... You can unlock all three Prism Rangers in this game as characters, and you can also get Asagi. Asagi literally has no special moves whatsoever. It's kind of weird. But, uh, no. No DLC. Mm. And Asagi's also a monster type for whatever reason. Yeah. Which I still have yet to play the complete version of the Sky of Three. Well, I mean, I played it, but I never got to the um, the additional stuff that the Vita introduced. I never played that version of the story and all that. The Sky of Four, I pretty much already. Uh, I had. A, well, no, I never did the uh, the story stuff that the Sky of Four had it. So that's another thing. I'm hoping one day they're gonna port um, this guy in three Vita version to PC or newer consoles. Oh, that sucks. I never actually own a Vita. Um, I did play uh, what play I played of this guy at three. Um, I played on the PlayStation TV, the uh, complete version, because I, I did play the uh, the original version on PS3 back in the day. But the Vita version I didn't play too much of. But that will change once I uh, get around to streaming this guy at 3 later down the road. Probably like five years from now or something. I'm kind of looking forward to uh, replaying all these Sky games again. It's, it's been a little bit for some of them. I'm debating if I ever do want to get a Vita at any point. I don't think really. I mean, I got a PlayStation TV, which unfortunately doesn't play every single Vita game, but I mean, I think it plays all the Vita games that I would want to play. That's actually how I played Persona 4 Golden uh, before it came out on PC, was um, on the PlayStation TV. Yeah, I got the original version on both PS3 as well, but I like on a handheld, it's a bit easier nowadays. Yeah, I agree. Handheld gaming is pretty good. Once I actually get a Switch, that's probably what I'm going to mostly play it as, uh, portable mode. With maybe a few exceptions, because some games have a little bit of difficulty in portable mode on Switch. Now that I think about it, I actually never held a Vita. Yeah, I don't think I actually ever held a Vita, funny enough. Oh, yeah. 
I know. Uh, that's actually what keeps me from getting a Switch. It's like every time I'm g about to get a Switch, oh, there's a rumor about a Pro version. It's like, well, I might as well wait. But hey, E3 is right around the corner, so maybe they'll say something there. If they don't announce it this time, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna just go head first and get the Switch. Because there's so many RPGs on the Switch that I want, to, you know, Disguise 6 included, because unfortunately, we're not getting it on PS4 like uh, Japan is. I'm really curious about this guy said. So I haven't played a demo because it's only on the Switch. But um I'm I'm looking I'm looking forward to giving it a shot. Yeah, like three houses seems pretty interesting. I know a lot of people like that one. Um for the longest time Octopath Traveler was Switch exclusive, but it's on PC now, but I would probably still get it on Switch. Um, I would probably buy the Final Fantasy ports on there. Some of the virtual console RPGs. Oh yeah, I gotta talk to this guy. Jeez, what else? There's just a bunch of stuff on Switch. Yeah, um, I caught a caught a little bit of um somebody playing it, and I also caught or my buddy uh JC. He's been talking about it on Twitter about how he feels about the game. It's, uh, it's, it's different. It, de it definitely is different. But I'm gonna reserve my judgment till I actually play it. But it, it won't be too long from now before it comes out. Oh yeah, and uh, Switch is getting a Soul Nomad and Phantom Brave port as well, so um, that's definitely another game um, we'll be getting for Switch for sure. I love Phantom Brave. It's like, Phantom Brave is, uh, without question, my favorite NIS title. It is actually, well, I was about to say Phantom Brave introduced me to the company, but that's not true. I played Rhapsody uh, before, this, uh, or before Phantom Brave. But at that time, I wasn't really aware of NIS when I played Rhapsody. Because they were published, um... Atlas was published in their games at that point. Huh. I don't like Phantom Brave. It's understandable. Phantom Brave is like a... It's different. It really is. I think the 3D, I'll, I'll, ha I'll have to actually see it in person, rather than watching videos of it. Like, I prefer the sprites like this. I think these look nice. But, um... If they, uh, if they can pull the 3D off, I'm sure it'll look fine. Like, from a distance with me with the 3D in Disguise 6, it seems like it might need to be a little bit more shell-shaded. But I'll, I'll have to, I'll, again, I'll just have to play it in person. Mm. Huh. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's fine. It's, if you, uh... Sonic. Hey, we're all open for opinions here. Like, I don't really argue with anybody that says, oh, this game's terrible because I don't like it. I'm like, well, that's, you know, that's fine. It's your opinion. Ah. But it's pretty cool that you're like, yeah, I didn't like it, but I know it's not a bad game. If you didn't like Phantom Brave, uh, you mind me asking how you feel about Makai Kingdom? Probably about in the same boat. Because uh, Makai Kingdom is probably like the most similar to uh, Phantom Brave uh, at this point. Mm. What's that like? Fan I like Makai Kingdom too, but uh, it's 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 just no Phantom Brave to me. 
You like Makai Kingdom? Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, uh, uh, Makai Kingdom was a good mix between the two. And in my opinion, today, I think Makai Kingdom has the best English voice acting in an NIS game. And Seta is a pretty cool protagonist, I will not lie. I still need to play the PS3 version of Makai Kingdom at some point. Uh, it actually has a, um, it never came out in the United States over here, or outside of Japan. But, uh, it did get an, uh, English patch, so that's pretty cool. You usually play everything with Japanese voice? Ah, I gotcha. I understand that. It depends on the game for me. See, for for instance, if I um I love English Captain Gordon here. Honestly, now that I think about it, I never played this guy with the Japanese voices. With me, I usually, when it comes to fighting games, though, I prefer the uh, original Japanese voices. I think that might be about it in terms of what I change languages for. I'm just used to it, no other reason. That makes sense. It just feel, it feels right. And honestly, probably whenever I get to the Yakuza games, I'll probably switch it to Japanese myself, actually. Um, this would be my first time playing this guy one complete, but I played the original and PC version and the PSP version like multiple times. But this particular version, uh, this this is my first time. Whenever I started streaming this game, I can't remember. I love his stance. I will never get over his new stance.
Okay, I was gonna say that I don't see people speedrun story with the uh <laughs> Nah, I'm basically just rushing through the sword to get to the good ending. Because it's literally the uh, the only ending I'm missing at this point. And then it's off to uh, fight for any ball. Unlock. I don't have the angel unlocked. That might be it. I'm, that might be the only two I'm missing. Oh, uh, the guy with the turn scale, that's the, uh, that's the scout. That's who you're thinking of. Which I have one right here, though. Yeah, that's the scout. Uh. Oh! I was about to say, that threw me off for a second there. I'm like, why, why did it... What happened there? I'll just be wrong with him. Hey, um, I, I can see that. I never, I would never really use the scout myself. Does it having two beefy dudes with swords usually does it for me? Uh, it's a unique class, though. I wish they would bring it back. Because uh, this is the only game the scout ever appears in. Well, I guess the Geomancer kind of replaced the scout, but not really. It can, yeah. Just beef up the scout a little bit, and that turret can um, pretty much clear the stage for you. Finally. Time has come. Thank you, Carter. They can also rearrange panels for you, too, which can come in handy as well. I 
keep forgetting, I, I don't need to move Laharl. He can attack with that sword from range. From a good bit of range. What's your plan on after beating Ball? Um, in terms of Disgaea, um, that'll be pretty much it. At one point, I planned on getting the trophies for Disgaea 1 complete, but uh, because one of the trophies would just take a long time, I'm just going to do that off stream. Because I would like to get the platinum for this game as well. But the next game I'll be streaming, it will, I'll, I have to finish up Sonic Boom because I started it. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Basically, what I'm doing this year is I started a bunch of games, and I want to finish them before moving on to a new game. And unfortunately, I did start a Sonic Boom at some point, so I do gotta finish it. For the, uh, Wii U. And it is, uh, it is bad as people say it is. That and it doesn't help that I'm bad at platformers too, as well. Really? That's really interesting. Understandable though. Uh, Sonic Sonic the Hedgehog is um, uh, it's not niche, but it it it, it is catering to a certain uh, to a certain type of player, if that makes any sense. Cause um, I'll be frank, I'm not, I'm not, I don't play many platformers as well. There's a couple that I do enjoy, like I do like Yoshi's Island and stuff like that, but not too many platformers I can, I'm really, really into. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, Wii U didn't uh, really didn't do too well. Like my uh, lonely little Wii U over there. I play a few things from time to time on it. Okay. I had to borrow my French switch to play D Sky of Five. Oh well, that, that's pretty cool that you go. Um, you had a buddy that lets you borrow it to play D Sky of Five. I play I play mine on um PS4. Uh unfortunately PS4 never got the complete version, but it didn't add anything. All it was was just all the DLC. And I I just bought it all on PS4, so. And now they have a PC version of this guy at five. borrowed much from my buddy, my friends back in the day. I, I was usually the one that let people borrow my stuff. 
If only they put it out on the Vita. It, yeah, it's kind of weird that they didn't. I mean, they did it for, um... For three. And four. Maybe at that point they just didn't see the profit in the Vita. Here's the EDF, guys. Oh, wrong move. Yeah, uh, there's a, I know a lot of people who actually really enjoyed the Vita, but unfortunately it just it just didn't do well. Which is a shame too, because the Vita, I mean, I, as someone who's never played it, it's really cool. It's like one of those underrated consoles, or handhelds. Has a lot of good games for it. It still has support. Like, people are still releasing stuff for that console. That's why people were a little upset when uh, Sony was talking about canceling it. But, uh, or canceling the online services with that, but they changed their minds on it. Which, you know, thankfully, that's pretty cool that Sony is going to keep the, uh, online store and whatnot for the Vita going for a little bit longer. Now, PSP, on the other hand, they said they're turning that off. That was the console that I was, I was really into, was the PSP. So many good times with the PSP. I played both uh, Portable Disgaea 1 and Portable Disgaea 2 on it. PSP was my favorite one. Nice. My overall favorite handheld of the whole time is still the GBA. Um, I, I put so many hours into the GBA. PSP is a very close second. Well, you know what? I would say older me likes PSP more than uh, younger me with GBA, if that makes any sense. God, PSP was like king of RPGs. Actually imported my first RPG on the PSP and played it. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I forgot about this thing. I actually played uh, this guy at DS on my DS, funny enough, too. Very bizarre version, but it's, it's, it's silly. I still have both my DS and uh, 3DS. Can I lift that from up here? Yes, I can. There's still quite a bit of games for DS I still need to play that I've never played. Like, I have a copy of Shadow Dragon that I've only played a little bit of and haven't even really touched it that I still need to get around to. <laughs> it's not a terrible version, it's just really bizarre. Now, I never 100% it complete this guy at DS, but um, I played it enough to uh, get the good ending and all that stuff and do some of the bonus stuff. I still actually pop it in every once in a while when I crave it. And I like the compressed music of this guy uh, music in it too. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just a silly little thing. You, you gonna come over here? Oh, wait, right. I probably gotta go over here. There you go. Yeah, it's like, there's like, 
when you have both the PSP and the DS version, there, there's just no, there's just no contest with that. I mean, it's cool that they thought about it, that they were like, hey, let's, let's put it on the DS. I also have a copy of Rhapsody on DS2. Now that's a version, uh, out of all the versions you can play in Rhapsody, that's the version you do want to play is the DS version. Right, yeah. It's definitely a unique little piece of, uh, NIS history. Did that version actually came out in Japan? I'm curious now. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it was released in Japan first, okay. Came out in 2008. Jeez, that means this guy DS is what? 13 years old now? Holy cow. This is a bit worrisome. I never thought human. Actually, this guy had a big celebration not too long ago, did it? This guy, uh. How old is this guy uh, in general? 2003. So, this guy is... That's right, they celebrated the 15th anniversary with the, uh, this guy D2. So that means this guy, uh, as a series, is, as, uh, it is... Eighteen years old, holy cow. This game's gonna be twenty years old in, um, two more years. He's just, he's just, he's just, he's just one away. I just like the cannons, they just focus in on whoever's closest to them. Late Preser it did come out first in Japan, but funny enough, Late Preser came out after this guy uh, in the United States. But, but, uh, uh, but it did, it was created before this guy, and this guy borrows a lot of cues from uh, Late Preser. Which I played both the PS2 version and the PSP version. Uh, it's a good time. Uh, I actually bought the DLC for the uh, PSP version. It's pretty funny. They, they did a lot of improvements with the PSP version. But that's pretty cool that uh, you started out, that was your, that was your first game. And in the PSP version, it's not censored like the uh, English PS2 version of uh, Lake Sierra. I was planning to try that this summer. Oh, yeah, I, I highly recommended it. That's how I played it. Well, I got a physical copy of it, and I played it on my PSP, but once the, uh, you know, PSP emulation was pretty good, I just played it on, uh, on my PC. <coughs> there is a little bit of a snag, though. Um, it's been a little bit since I looked into it, but if you do plan on doing the DLC for PSP... For some reason, the DLC messes up the translation patch, so uh, just uh, be on the lookout for that. Now, of course, it's been a little bit since I looked into it. They might have fixed that since then. But if you don't plan on doing the DLC characters, then you're pretty good to go. Mm. 
I'm gonna look at it real quick, make sure um, they haven't updated that. Okay, we have no plans to translate the DLC for the game because of two reasons. The D DLC content overrides all the data that we have translated, so we would have to redo all the translation to get the DLC working in English. Two legal reasons. The DLC was paid content, and we have to include the DLC content in order to translate it. We want to be legal, and the current patch contains no copyright material of NIS. Oh, okay. So, yeah, okay, the DLC was just never translated. Oh, that's okay. good. Okay. That makes a little bit more sense with the lead the uh the legal side of things. Because technically the patch themselves NIS doesn't own, but if they were to include the actual DLC characters, then yeah that That'd be a big no-no. It's for that reason, that's why I played the, uh... Just a straight Japanese version and just had a guide on hand to help me out through it. But even without the, uh, well, I won't tell you. They added a few characters to the PSV version, but I won't, um, hidden characters, but I won't tell you, just in case you don't want to be spoiled. Just know that, um, they added a few extra characters to the game. I'll play it without the DLC. Yeah, you're, uh, in terms of the DLC, you're really not missing much. I mean, they're neat characters, but, uh, you can get away with not having to have those characters. Hmm. Fools. Man, now you gotta be wanting to play Labor Seer Ragnarok again. <laughs> But I got a few games before I want to. Uh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of going semi orderish with NIS games. Cause I did a, I did a playthrough of Rhapsody. Did a playthrough of Little Princess. I just kind of jumped into the sky in one complete because I, I started playing this on stream when the sky of six was announced. So that should give you a time frame of when I started this and been on, on and off with it. But I've been really focusing on, uh, on this guy at one complete, uh, again. It's really nice. Alright, we're, uh, we're about ready for the good ending here in just a moment. this next stage. Yep, here we go. Planet X.
think I had the magic ignite unlocked either, now that I think about it. I know I got the archer unlocked, and I remember seeing the archer in the uh, character creator. Yeah, uh, that's how you unlock the EDS soldier. You gotta get a rank 25 uh, gun mastery and stuff like that. But um, this guy I want complete, I wasn't gonna do a full 100% thing for it. I was gonna save that to whenever I get to the PC version, like later down the road. I just, I just, all the good changes they did with this version is fantastic. But they did some weird stuff with this version as well that just makes me prefer the PC version. Just, uh, just by a little bit. Honestly, now that I think about it, the little things that bug me about this particular version is kind of more just visual than anything. Well, okay, maybe with the exception of Sagi and the Prison Rangers being underwhelming, they could have done a lot better with those two, uh, those couple characters. But, like, all the new sprites they added to characters that never had HD sprites, I mean, look at the Majin. I love this guy's HD sprites. Be able to hear too much of it. <laughs> we didn't even get to the main part of the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They took some liberties with the graphics, though. If they could get away with replacing some of the sprites with um, something else, they did. But for things that, like, they could absolutely not replace, like, we got the new Majin. We got the Scout from earlier. Um, they did do the male theme. They just replaced it with the female theme later on. Um, what else was new? Oh, Madeiras. Madeiras got new HD sprites. Captain Go Like, all the Defenders of Earth have HD sprites for the first time. Uh, Curtis already had HD sprites before. Like, yeah, they replaced, like, the martial artists with newer versions. The, uh, the old male healer ain't here. It's uh, the newer one. Stuff like that. Die, die, fool, this might die. actually be, depending on how well Disguise 6 does, this might very well be the last game that uses AC sprites. If you're, if we're not counting Disguise RPG. Because um, that is handled by a different company, but they are using 
there are assets. Uh, there's sprites and whatnot. Die, die. Hey, Volcanus. Bye, Volcanus. Sell everything. Oh, this is also a good thing too. That's that's my issue too. It's just, it's just so many games just pile on. Like my backlog is like towering at this point. But, I mean, I do recommend this. It's not a really bad way to play in this game. It really isn't. Especially the stuff they did change to make things a little bit quicker. Die, die. <laughs> Fools. Right, good ending time. What's the matter, Prince? I've had enough of this. Huh? It's not like this will bring her back. Besides, if that love freak was here, she would have stopped me anyway. Prince? God, this guy one story so good. Overall, this guy too is still my favorite, my personal favorite Sky game. But this guy in one story is it's really good. I I still think it's like up there in in the rankings of the stories in the Sky games. Hmm. I never knew I could shed tears. Etna. Yes. I leave the rest to you. Prince. What are you planning on doing? You're not planning on... I think I finally understand why my mother sacrificed herself to save me. You want to exchange your life for hers? Is that even possible? Who knows? But this is the least I can do for her now. Harley. Farewell. What do you want now? As you can see, I'm busy. We'll call this your victory, so don't bother me. I am glad that you have come to terms with your mother's decision. You should thank your companions for teaching you the importance of love and friendship. What? Do not throw away the life that your mother gave you. Here. Look. Fallen Angel Flan. Flan. Oh yeah, for sure. In terms of mechanics, unfortunately this guy one is on the bottom. It it, it just suffers the the fate of a lot of games have in the series is it's just the first in the series. I was supposed to be punished in. But yeah, uh oh yeah, for sure mechanic wise, uh like I, I guess then mechanic wise it would just go in release order really. Uh like Indeed, Bob being the best in terms of no mechanics. Angel trainee. Now you are a fallen angel. Like I can nitpick in here and there, but uh overall they, mechanic-wise, they seem to get better and better and better. 
Vaughn, your wings. I'm, I'm. <laughs> that is the punishment she received from Seraph Lannington. What? Then he wasn't gonna kill her in the first place. Yeah, uh, that's why I can't go back to PS2 Disguise 2. Um, the stuff they added to the PSP version of Disguise 2, ju it just makes it even even better game. Of course not. She is a very important person, not only to Celestia, but to the Netherworld as well. What is that supposed to mean? Celestia and the Netherworld were not always in opposition. Seraph Lamington and another person of influence dreamed of reuniting them. He sent Angel Trainee Flan to the Netherworld to begin bridging the gap between the two worlds. Lahara, Flan, you are the knot that binds the two worlds together. You're the knot? <laughs> I am sure that one day you will understand. Tell me, who are you really? Why do you know so much? <laughs> Have I not told you before? I am the Dark Adonis. My presence here is merely coincidence. Sure. Become oh, wow. She's got an AC Sprite, too. That's cute. Huh. You don't have to tell me. I'll build a legacy even greater than my old man's. <laughs> Farewell. Oh, well, that's it. That's uh, that's all the endings. But we're not done just yet. We gotta go fight Printy Ball. But we do gotta do a few stages before we can uh, unlock him. Man, I will always remember the first time I played this guy. It was... It, it, I mean, I didn't play this guy until after Phantom Brave. Phantom Brave introduced me to this guy. But after playing Phantom Brave, I wanted to go back and play this guy after finding out about it. And oh my goodness, it... Just the sheer... Like, granted, Phantom Brave was the first time I experienced a lot of the stuff that NIS was known for. But going back to this Gaia after playing Phantom Brave and seeing a lot of different stuff, it, it's... Y you remember stuff like that when you play something like that for the first time. That's why Final Fantasy VII holds such a special place in my heart. Also, I really like the picture of uh, this, uh, Laharl. They actually included this version of Laharo in the, uh, the mobile game. That's the best ending sequence. For sure, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Yeah, not yet. Someday. He's still pretty top tier too, if I'm not mistaken. I usually, when I stream, I usually have it on, um, doing item world in the background. Just to be able to have it doing something. So it, it doesn't seem like it eats up a lot of CPU. I 
on Captain Gordon. It sucks that I wasn't able to get him an RPG. Dang it. <laughs> I'm gonna have more chances with him, though. I know he's not a good character in this guy RPG, but... I, I, I like Captain Gordon. <laughs> I like all the Defenders of Earth, actually. Hey, Kitty Cat. I also try to get. <laughs> Fair enough. I think this is my favorite uh, ending picture right here. Is uh, Laharl shaking hands with uh, Sarah Lamington. It's like the game news, like, oh no, you got New Year's Rosalind, you're not gonna get anybody else for a while. I'm like, dang it. Oh, is it? Oh, shoot. It's a good thing I didn't spend any more on the Captain Gordon, then. Hope I get pretty something good on that banner. Spent all my gems looking for her, so I didn't get the full one. Ah, I got it. Now's my chance to TV and awaken the Ross. Yeah, there you go. I've been, I've basically been just getting uh with the King the current one going. I just getting the uh, rainbow printy fragments. Alright, so since this is our final cycle, let's go ahead and unlock Asagi and all them real quick. Oh yeah, I gotta beat the first stage first. Let's see if I can get this trophy. Who has the most attack? Oh, you're doing conquests? Uh, I need I need to do conquests as well. I've been I, I've been like flip flopping. I've been doing story, and then I've been doing netherworld history. I, I just go back and forth between everything. And I'll be honest, I have been slacking on it. There's been days where I literally just do my dailies and nothing else.
But after the stream, I can actually uh, concentrate on doing a little bit more grinding since I gotta do some video editing. I don't have many monster units. I mean, I have a lot of monster units, so I just don't have any. Uh... Like, well, I got a Desco, actually, now that I think about it. I, I think I do. Yeah. That's pretty much me. Like, once I get home from work, I, you know, I have, like, okay, I want to do this, 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 and this, and that. It, it, there's just only so much. Oh, yeah, this is how you get Panera now, too. <laughs> she works a little bit differently in this version. <laughs> I forgot they added the HD sprites to Maid Printy here. That's pretty cute. Since I won't be doing any more cycles, I might as well get it all organized right now. Get to see all these funny names I gave these characters. Most of them stayed around since uh, Vanilla Disgaea. Tyrant can't do that. Does she have the long range money drop? Uh... Oh, she's probably not a high enough level yet, is she? You know what? I can find that out real quick. Oh, she comes with it. Let's see. No, she doesn't, unless this is what you're talking about. Let's see the animation real quick. I think this is her only skill in this game. Yeah, yeah, they did. I think she's just straight up based on her DS appearance. What am I doing? There we go. Thank you. 
go ahead and get Cave Over now, just in case. Yeah. <laughs> Very much overused her bunny drop uh, running. I don't want to cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really useful. There we go. Holy cow. So now we just need to go beat those two, and we can, uh, go fight Ball and then Pretty Ball. I used to like to do BD Castle first. Kusanagi. Oh yeah, they gave her frames uh HD strikes for the first time too in this game. Uh, yeah, they added that. Well, they did that, and if you're, you got a skill equipped with them, you can move them around. Even with spells, you can do that. Oh god, she doesn't have the range. Also, Grey Wilder, always a fantastic uh, song. Somebody 
videos. Oh my god, I just realized this is a throwback to Demon World. Jesus Christ, it took me that long. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I mean, it, I literally just realized what that was, uh, that that particular one was a reference to. So here's from there. Beat Ball and then fight a uh, Pretty Ball and wish her the best. I do want to go ahead and steal a Super Robot suit again. Yeah. Yeah. Also, what they, uh, another feature they added to this particular version and not the other ones is, um, there's autosave in here. And if you die, you don't necessarily get a game over. It just resets you uh, right before going to that level. So that's another uh, feature they added. Like, they really made this game a lot quicker. Oh, right in front of me. This time I don't have to worry about Geo panels. Oof. That's always rough. Man, the stuff I went through because of this jerk right here. I'm going to turn on the animation for Brandy Ball, though. Because that, that is technically a new stage, so... Alright. 
right. I gotta make sure to steal the stuff off of Pretty If I can steal the stuff off of Pretty Ball. You're, 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 you're good on Super Robo Suits. Yeah, uh... It's probably easier to level on the Thief in this game now. But, uh, in the original, it was so hard getting a male thief up that high. They, I, again, it's probably easier in this version now. But I usually just, um, I just take the 50%. Alright, let's see what This is going to determine if I need to do another session or not. That's the wrong place. What is the stats compared to Bob? About even up. Wait, it dropped that much? Holy cow. All oh, right, because uh, the bonus monsters get. That's right. Wow, that's. Interesting. You didn't want to do another counter attack? Okay. Yeah. I think you can heal the fine. If you can reach, that is.
Jeez, I killed the Harl. Yeah, I thought about it. That's how I um, did a uh, regular ball uh, in an earlier session. Um, I was just gonna kind of brute force it this time around, and if I didn't beat him this time, I was just gonna do that. It's a really viable strategy. Funny enough, despite... RPGs being more strategic, I usually brute force them a lot of times for whatever reason. There we go, we got our EX complete trophy. And we find a multiple nines. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about that, truth be told. Oh, that's right, it already comes as a level 100. I want to put that on. Jeez, that's a boost. Now, I do want to try one more thing, because I'm really curious by it. He doesn't lose that much attack. He gains so much more defense, I'm going to keep that. Now, that doesn't mean I'm gonna beat him, but I'm curious. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I gotta do that as Lahar. Ooh, Mama. And neither Mama and Lahara can steal from him because he's too high leveled up.
Let's see if this is manageable. We can skip animations now, too. It's durable, it is. I think I just need to do this one time. Let me double check that, actually. I guess, okay, cool. Laharo's just not doing damage whatsoever, that's fine. Can, um... It says max two times, but maybe I always uh, misunderstood it as it um as it says two times. I just thought two was the absolute max it can stack. That's interesting. Yeah, this is very adorable. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Oh my god, I never thought I would actually ever do this. That's the hardest challenge in the game. <laughs> Unless Set is stronger at level 9,999. But, I'm good. <laughs> and hey, we almost hit the new, new tower, uh, two hour point. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, That's pretty much it with this guy, uh, one complete. Um, I didn't go for everything. Like, uh, there's obviously a few things I'm still missing. Like, I didn't complete the item record. I didn't get every single class, but I'm saving that for whenever I get the Disgaea PC. Yeah, I'm literally just missing uh, Angel and uh, the EDF Soldier. But, that's gonna be it. And um, that'll be the end of the session too, so... Uh, tomorrow night, I'll be starting back on Sonic Boom and I will be hating myself. <laughs> but now, um, this is fun. 
I love this guy. It's a great series. Uh, I've been with this since Phantom Brave. Uh, took a little break when 5 came out, but got back into it pretty quickly. Enjoyed my time with 5, but uh, I'm here to stay. And um, I'm looking forward to trying out 6 at some point once I get a Switch. But yeah, go play this guy. It's a good series, everybody. <laughs> but I want to thank everybody who came out. Hope everybody had a great time. I had a great time. Everybody who checks the YouTube, re uh, YouTube replay later, I hope you guys had a great time. Guys, we here. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the chat. I always like chatting with everybody. You're a pretty, pretty cool dude, as some people would say. But yeah, that's going to be it for me. I got to go do some video stuff. I got to clean up the house a little bit. But yeah, take easy, everybody. Have a good day. And brush your teeth. Because uh, gingivitis is, uh, it is very bad. <laughs>